so when we first talked, I remember talking a bit about uh, the product, about, uh, I like how you call it single protein. So um, you did not know that despite being born and bred Calgarian, I worked at Red Lobster, which we are, uh, so yes. So while many people were all about uh, the salmon and black yeah. and salmon, we had a trout that has um, a meat, it's salt and pepper trout, I believe, or like lemon pepper. Lemon pepper trout was very uh, popular. And while some people feel like trout has a strong taste, like salmon has a strong taste, it also has, I think, more protein or just as much protein as salmon. And it's yeah. lean and it's delicious. And it packs like great, um, you know, recovery fuels for the bodies. Any uh, any kind of on pitch or anything I missed on trout? Because I, I am a big believer in trout. Yeah. So, so very, uh, thank you for being a believer. Um, it's, uh, yeah, that, that's big. We, we like trout for a lot of reasons. Um, a lot of them that you mentioned in terms of interchangeability with salmon, it's, it's almost identical. Like a, a, the, the average consumer, uh, if they saw a fillet of steelhead trout and they saw a fillet of Atlantic salmon, they'd have a very difficult time knowing which is which. Uh, and, and I would, venture a guess to say more people would actually pick the trout because it's got a bit of a deeper red color to it uh so it, it looks nicer uh we yeah we're we're a big believer in trout we we think there's a huge market demand for it a uh, trout is a very uh sustainable protein and, and it works really well in the aquaculture environment uh specifically where we do some of our operations we we don't have the same issue uh with sea lice and with some of the diseases that some of the salmon farmers do based on location and also based on species and so we love it and, and we want more people to eat trout and we think more people will because uh, we've got pretty big growth plans to, uh, to, to not, not take over the salmon market, but there is growing demand for consumers to eat healthy and sustainable protein. Uh, our protein happens to be really close to the market. I mean, we're, our marine sites are in Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. Um, our competitors are bringing the same product from Norway and Chile. Uh, so we've got a freshness advantage, a carbon footprint advantage, uh, and a shelf life advantage, Not and also a cost advantage because it's a whole lot cheaper to truck a product than it is to fly it fresh from Norway or from Chile. So um, I, I think you'll you'll see more and more trout in, in the supermarkets going forward. And, and you know, we've got, we've got some plans to maybe even see an ocean trout brand one of these days um, and, uh, and lots of different product formats. I love that. That makes me really excited. I did. Um, I've been involved a bit with um, the Dalhousie uh, Agri-Food Analytics Lab and oh, looking cool. at the food yeah. pricing report for 2023 yeah. and, uh, you know, speaking a bit about also finances and budgeting uh, for consumers and what do you do in the face of you know, 10.3, 10.2% food inflation for 2022. And the biggest thing is like, listen, we're not sure, like we can't prove at this point um, whether or not there is greedflation in the markets or not, whether or not grocers are taking advantage of, you know, the higher inflationary times to pass through even more uh, costs um, to consumers through prices. But one thing that we are recommending is like, hey, like be flexible. If you yeah. go and you're like, Hey, we'd like some fish today. Like go and like, look what's, you know, what's fresh, what's cost effective, you know, shopping local obviously has some advantages, both from not only the pricing, um, but also you mentioned shelf life. Shelfflation is huge. And that's yeah. a little bit of a hidden cost that people aren't quite aware of necessarily. Um, and that with all the supply chain issues, it's taken longer times for products to get to the yeah. stores. And then it'll take even less. So then that means there's less time for people to have it in their fridge before they can use it. Yeah. So I, I am a little bit passionate about this as like a personal finance and budgeting nerd, as well as like, yeah. it's what's around me. And it's the three big things. It's housing, transportation, and food. We can't yeah. really avoid it. So how do you minimize that? And then if you have the big three taken care of, you know, you can kind of, I don't know, just like buy a six pack of beer and not like really worry too, too much about it. If you're not, you know, every month spending extra hundreds of dollars at the grocery store. Oh, and it, it's huge. You know, we were, so I will say this, a little plug for trout is I was at a, one of the big box wholesale stores in, in Halifax earlier this week. Uh, and and trout fillets were at 19.99 a kilogram, and the same salmon uh, size was at like 35 dollars a kg. And uh, there is, you know, there. I I would suggest the next time you or or any of your listeners are at said big box store, give the trout a try, because uh, okay. I think most people would be really pleasantly surprised by it. Um, but it 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 you know what I what scares me the most is is for consumers with the with the pricing that's going on is people are going to make 
different choices and what they eat. And typically the cheaper choice in a lot of cases is the more expensive choice or sorry, is the unhealthier choice. Uh, and yeah. so we, you know, there's, there's some long-term impacts if people have to make the choice of, you know, something that's fresh, like, you know, the, the big thing about cauliflower heads going to, you know, five or $6 or $7 per head. Uh, so if somebody doesn't choose that and they choose something else because it's cheaper, like the bag of the bag of frozen French fries, uh, in is still, you know, relatively inexpensive in comparison. Uh, so there, you know, there could be, you know, individual choices that people are making today could set bad habits and then also could set long-term health issues uh, as they go forward. And that's, uh, you know, those impacts are, you know, four times down the road, but oh. it's big.